제 248회. 그럼 말을 놓을까요? 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. Today we've got a very interesting program for you because this is what you say to everyone when you first meet each other. <laughs> Not the general like, uh, how's the weather today kind of conversation that we have in the West, but in Korean, they're very direct. They tell you how old you are, what they do, and all this kind of stuff. So anyways, I'm Lisa Kelly and this is my co-host, Stephen. And I'm Stephen Revere. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, in Korea, it is so important to know somebody else's age because it determines what level of speech you use very much, which you're going to hear in just a moment. So we have two students to help us coach you all. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Maru. 여러분, 안녕하세요. 지름은 마리나입니다. And I want to say hi to all Koreans, to all Ukrainians, and all Russians. All my friends. <laughs> Hi no to one, the world. Yeah, but no Americans or Canadians are just kidding. 네 여러분 안녕하십니까? 저는 마루입니다. And I want to say to say hi to all the Korean girlfriends because I'm still looking for one. <laughs> okay, anyone who's interested in Maru, go to www.youknowwhere. <laughs> Alright, take a listen to today's conversation. It's really long, but you'll recognize it's pretty uh, common, uh, mm. common expressions that we use in daily conversation. Mm. Go ahead and check it out. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 안녕하세요. 스티븐입니다. 안녕하세요. 전 민정이에요. 근데 스티븐 씨는 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 만으로 서른 살입니다. 호랑이 뜻이죠? 저랑 동갑이네요. 그럼 말을 놓을까요? This first line, very easy, so I'll just go through the first two lines simply. 안녕하세요, 스티븐입니다. 안녕하세요, 전 민정이에요. Let's just try saying that with each other. There may be some first-time learners of Korean out there. 안녕하세요, 리사입니다. 스티븐. 안녕하세요, 스티븐입니다. 안녕하세요, 마리나입니다. 안녕하세요, 마루입니다. 네. That's not the living room floor. <laughs> okay, and 근데 스티븐 씨는 나이가 어떻게 되세요? This is like the first thing you're going to hear, okay? After you introduce each other, they pretty much get really direct and say, So, how old are you? But they say it very 부드럽게. In the end, they say, yeah. 어떻게 되세요? How is your age or how does your age come out to be? 이가 is the subject marker and then you say, 어떻게 되세요? It's kind of like, how is it made up? What does it consist of many times? In this case, how old are you is 나이가. 어떻게 되세요, right? Uh, so you can also use this with 가족. 가족이 어떻게 되세요? You can ask Meaning, about someone's family. Meaning, how many members family, do you right? have, right? All right, exactly. Who is in your family? Yeah. And one thing to be careful is we all know this line, 몇 살이에요? You do not ask somebody, 몇 살이에요? When you first meet them. That's why we say 어떻게 되세요? It's a much higher, more respected form. Let's try saying it to each other. Uh, Marina 씨는 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 열네 살이에요. Good night, Maru. Maru, 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 14. Oh, okay. 스물여섯 살이에요. 스물여섯 살이에요. A little honesty, good. Okay. Then we're, we're going to pick in Korea again. We're going to go and find out, all right? Hmm. Stephen answers 만으로 서른 살입니다. 맞아요? Sadly, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> 만으로 서른 세 살입니다. But anyway, yes. Uh, actually, when this airs, 만으로 서른 네 살. Anyway, uh, 만으로 is normal age. Ladies and gentlemen, I hear people say 미국 나이로 or 일본 나이로. They talk about all these other ages. No, when you want to talk about normal age, birth age is what we're talking about. You say 만으로. When you talk, want to talk about Korean age, then you say 한국 나이로. Okay? Don't get the, don't, don't, 미국 나이로, 일본 나이로. No, no, no. The rest of the world uses birth age, right? And then you say 만으로. Mm. And Min Jung says, 호랑이 뜻이죠? The first thing they, uh, pretty much the first thing they say, <laughs> it's either one of two things. After they hear your age, they say, oh, we're the same age, or they say, oh, you're whatever, ti. Okay, horangi is tiger, tiger. right? Yeah. So, tiger ti is, yeah, 30 right now, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure the writers checked that one out ahead of time. Don't worry, yes. Right. And when you talk about the, then you're talking about someone's 
zodiac, Chinese zodiac, right? And that is by year. We go by month or time of the year mm -hmm. in, in the Western zodiac. But in the Chinese zodiac, it's the year that you're born. I am a Teji Ti, which is a, uh, I have lots of And no one's calling you a pig. No one's calling you a pig. A pig T, that's, that's then, cor perfectly yeah. correct, yes. And then I told you this is coming up, okay? Chorang Tunga Bineo. Okay, we're the same age, okay? Tunga. All right. Mm. Let's try saying it all together. Horangi tishjo, chorang tonga bineo. Horangi tishjo, norang tonga, chorang tonga bicho. Horangi tishjo, chorang tonga bineo. Yeah, tonga bineo, chorang. Okay. If you say norang, you're the same age as you are, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then. And then we're talking respectively to each other all up until now, right? So after you've confirmed they're the same age or younger than you, you could say, okay, let's bring down our speech to just casual speech or panmai, right? Uh, Crucial expression to know, ladies and gentlemen, is to lower your form of speaking means it makes us friends right okay. originally when you don't know someone very well you have to use the high form of the language but then once you get to know each other a little better you've introduced yourselves and you know that your ages are pretty similar then you can ask would it be okay if I lowered my language all right let's go and check out today's Korean insight Korean insight Interesting where I first heard this expression, I got the fact that it's supposed to mean like, let's do it or go team. But when I first heard it, I thought it was saying, fight team, like go team, right? And then they're like, no, no that doesn't mean that. And I no. thought, oh, like high team. No, that doesn't mean that. So what does it mean, Steven? Fighting, yeah. yeah. As you're talking about fighting, right? And you're saying, let's go get them, right? Fighting, okay? That's what exactly. we're talking about here. And the Korean version is, aja aja, okay? And now, sometimes they put them together into, aja aja fighting, and they always do this motion too. You gotta do this. Right. Okay. So I obviously thought it was Konglish, but actually they say it came from a Japanese expression, so no wonder I wasn't getting it when I first heard it. <laughs> Nowadays, it's very common. Ja, let's, uh, fighting, Steven. Fighting, yes, okay. <laughs> here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Polite way to ask how old someone is. Okay, how old are you? The most polite way to ask. And then we have manuro, okay, in birth age, okay, according to birth age, manuro, soren sarimda, I am 30 years old. And then we go, horangi ti, we've got, that's the tiger ti, uh, which is the zodiac sign. And then we have, chorang, along with me, dungap. We are the same age. Dungap is to be the same age. Dungapineo. Ah, 감사합니다. Cha, let's go and take a look, a final look at our lesson today. Try to see if you can say these expressions now. 안녕하세요, 스티븐입니다. 안녕하세요, 전 민정이에요. 근데 스티븐 씨는 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 만으로 서른 살입니다. 호랑이 뜻이죠? 저랑 동갑이네요. 그럼 말을 놓을까요? <웃음> 자, the time of truth, okay? <웃음> 진짜로 밝힐게요. <웃음> We're gonna let you know how old we really are. <웃음> 마리나 씨. We? <웃음> We. <웃음> 마리나 씨, 나이가 <웃음> 어떻게 되세요? 만으로는 스물다섯 살이에요. 아, 원숭이 뜻이죠? 어, 맞아요. 동갑이네요. <웃음> Okay. And that is true, ladies and gentlemen. They are the same age. And I'm anxious to hear. Oh, we're out of time. Look at that. I thought so, yeah. We'll see you back here next time on Let's Eat Korean. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.